So the European Union has really been globally a front runner in regulating technology. Instead of just focusing on what we can do to maximize the use of data, we also really focus on how to protect that data, how to make that data more secure. So that obviously has shaped the digital economy inside the EU, uh, making the European citizens and societies more resilient and more robust and constraining the behavior of tech companies inside the EU. But the EU also has had this special superpower, which I call the Brussels effect, which means that it has been able to often export its digital regulation outside of its borders. This is because many of the companies just find that the EU market is too important in terms of the size and the purchasing power that they cannot evade, they cannot uh, stay out of the EU market. But when adjusting their conduct to the EU regulations in order to do business in the EU, these companies often conclude that it is in their interest to apply the European rules globally across their global production and their global conduct so that they can avoid the cost of complying with multiple different regulatory regimes. So this means that when they follow European privacy regulations, the European cybersecurity regulations, the European competition, content moderation regulations, often then those rules get exported to the rest of the world. That in many ways is a positive spillover effect for the rest of the world, where the citizens outside of Europe also benefit from these regulatory protections. But at the same time, it is an economic benefit for European companies, because now they don't face a competitive disadvantage being the only ones that need to bear the burden of regulatory costs, when the foreign companies that they are competing against in third markets also have often adjusted their behavior to those European rules. And that's one of the global benefits of European regulation.